This is the Aqua T30 Roll Top Waterproof Tail Bag from Oxford. Up until now, uh, I've been using a set of old hand-me-down Oxford panniers to carry camping stuff, overnight stuff, and uh, they've done a fine job, but without any proper luggage stays to hold them that are actually compatible with the uh, tail tidy that I've got on my bike. Um, I've just had to have the Oxford panniers strapped down and, and tightened with bungees and there's been so much tension on the back of the bike and uh, the panniers are quite old. I've been paranoid that they're going to snap, fly off and just cause havoc on the road. So I've decided to opt for a more tidy solution and got this. The Oxford Aqua T30 Roll Top Bag is a really well made piece of kit. Uh, promptly delivered by Sports Bike Shop, straight out of the box this bag just comes across as really good quality with welded seams throughout to promising to be 100% waterproof. In this video we're going to see exactly what you can fit inside the Aqua T30, uh, simulate a camping trip and also simulate a couple of overnight stays somewhere so check out what you can actually fit in the bag. We're also going to look at the build quality and see how waterproof it is and then see how it looks and how secure it is when fitted to my NT09 SP. So if you're looking for a tail bag to fit on a bike with a slightly smaller pillion seat, a more slimmer pillion seat uh, than you would get on a sport tour or a retro then stick around this might be the bag for you. So before we look at what you can actually fit in the bag, uh, just a quick look at it on the back of the bike. Um, I really do like a bit of reflective detailing here. So people coming up behind you at night, you can actually stand out a bit on the roads. I've gone for the gray and fluorescent version. Um, there's a black version, a khaki version. There's a really cool black, half black, half fluo looking version. I went for this one because it was less than 50 pounds on sports bike shops, so an absolute bargain. Um, I also like a bit of fluo, you know, everyone likes a bit of fluo. Do you like a bit of fluo? So quick question for the racing fans, when you think of fluo, which rider or team do you think of? That guy? It's got an external pocket, an internal pocket, and then when you roll the top over, you secure it with the side clips and use the compression straps to keep everything contained. So what can you actually fit in the bag? Um, I'm actually going on a camping trip next weekend and I managed to get pretty much most of my camping gear in the bag. So uh, minus the tent, which I think will strap to the top, but um, everything else is supposed to go inside. So um, we'll open up the compression straps and declip the side clips, which just kind of secure the roll top element of the bag. Just opening up the top, just a gaping hole really to put all your stuff in but I've managed to get a camping light in there, a roll mat, an inflatable roll mat, a sleeping bag, a small camping chair. Uh, I've also managed to get in there a piglet blanket, uh, which I use as kind of like a ground sheet in the tent. So I'll put this down first, then put my uh, roll mat on top of that and the sleeping bag. So it's just a bit of separation between me and the cold floor of the tent, but that goes in there as well. And there is all that in there, with some space from other items. I don't have a camping stove yet and other things like that, but you can get some knickknack items in there as well. And there's there's still a bit of room to roll the top and everything. So all of this goes in there, sleeping bag, roll mats, picnic blanket, a chair, lighting, and there is space for other items like, you know, a camping stove perhaps. You probably squeeze it in there. And the idea is then I'm gonna secure the tent to the top of the, the bag. Um, and that's pretty much all my camping gear. Then all of my clothing and overnight stuff will then go in my uh, tent bag and job done. Uh, it's worth noting there are uh, larger versions of this bag. There's a 50 litre version, a 70 litre version as well. I think that would have been too big on the uh, the SP with its slim kind of pillion seat. If you've got a sport tool or a retro, perhaps the larger bags might suffice and you can get more in. But I'm still surprised at what you can do with 30 litres. So this is the picnic blanket that I put down. It's kind of like a ground sheet in the tent. That goes in flat. It comes in rolled when you get it from the store to go outdoors, but I just play it flat. Uh, and then in goes my little uh, camping stool thing. Um, that just goes in straight away like that. Um, and then I've got, uh, I'll put the sleeping bag in next. Sleeping bag, which is all nicely compressed down. This is a Van Gogh uh, Starlight 250 sleeping bag. Um, and that kind of goes in flat We push to the side. And so we've now got a nice big space here on the right hand side. If you're not fussed about a roll mat, then you can put something else in there. But I kind of put that in, the squeeze that in inside. And so you can actually see that there's still quite a bit of space there between these items. So you can roll it, but there, you, you do have a bit of room there, as you can see inside to fit other things. So if you've got like, you know, a camping stove and other small camping elements like my little handy torch here, um, that can go down there in the side and slip away quite nicely. So there is room there for other items. And then once you're done, simply just 
press it over, make that seal, and you're good to go. Attach it down with the clips. And uh, like I say, the idea is I'm going to hopefully bungee the tent, bungee the tent to the top of the bag. Then you're good to go. And it comes with a very handy carry handle, so when you're off the bike, you can carry it around. And it also comes with a shoulder strap as well, if you want to use a shoulder strap and use it as a piece of luggage. Now we're going to simulate an overnight stay. So you're staying over somewhere, going on a biking trip, and you're staying at a hotel for a few nights. Uh, what can you actually get inside the bag? So I've got some uh, everyday overnight stuff here, just to see what fits. So I've not actually done this yet, so it might fit, it might not. But um, started with a couple of pair of hiking boots, maybe you're going on a hiking trip or something. Uh, so I'm going to get those in there. Uh, a wash bag, everyday wash bag with everyday wash bag items in. Then I've got a number of like t-shirts, some jeans, several jumpers. Don't know why you need so many jumpers, but they were big and kind of, you know, thick woolen jumpers. Then we've got a, um, a waterproof jacket, so it's not like a, a pack and mac or anything, this is an actual you know, coat, so it doesn't compress right down, but again, that goes in. A couple of books, maybe you're going somewhere, you're gonna read some books, that goes in there as well. Um, and yeah, that's everything in there. Easy. Next up, we're gonna see how waterproof it is. I am a little bit conscious about this front zipper here. It does say it is a waterproof zip. Uh, some people have commented online saying that it does let the water in. So I'm gonna stick a necky in there and we're gonna get this thing wet. Okay, so we've just given it a proper soaking. Let's have a look. Um, firstly, the front pocket, which I was a bit concerned about. Um, my necky is wet. <laughs> okay, right, so um, my necky is wet. Now, pe people did say online that this front pocket wasn't 100% waterproof. So, um, yeah, I would say that probably perhaps it's showerproof. It'd give it a good drenching, but my necky is definitely most decidedly damp in there. So, yeah, I wouldn't put anything uh, super delicate in there, like passports and documents, things like that, money, things uh, that might... <laughs> get impacted in the rain so uh, I did have a few glow sticks here for camping but yeah there's definitely a little pool of water <laughs> there's definitely a little pool of water in this front pocket so yeah be mindful of that but hopefully the main the main part of the bag is going to be dry now that looks all right so inside we've got my clothes they feel bone dry the books I put in there are dry. Everything in the main compartment is dry. Um, this exterior pocket isn't 100% waterproof, so do bear that in mind uh, when you put your stuff in there. Next up, we're going to see how the bag actually looks on the back of my Yamaha MT-09SP. It does have a slightly slimmer pillion seat, um, obviously a sporty naked bike kind of pillion seat, so if you've got a sport tour or a more uh, custom bike, a retro bike, perhaps you can go for one of the larger bags, but I felt a 30 litre should be uh, the right-ish kind of size. And putting it on the back of the uh, pannier seat, it does actually fit quite symmetrical. They're quite nice. When it comes to attaching the Aqua T30 to the bike, you've got to pop off the seat and use the safety strap, which is a kind of unique feature for the T30 range, uh, attaching it to the, the seat itself, then using the D-loop tie-downs, which come with the bag you get for, attaching that to the subframe just to secure everything up, and it is quite solid. I might actually use a couple of bungees just for that extra peace of mind. I don't think it needs it, but I'll use some bungees anyway just to shore things up when I'm out on the road. So there you have the Aqua T30 roll top bag from Oxford. Um, exactly what I expected really from Oxford. Really good build quality. I love all the welded seams around the bag. Bit disappointed with the front pocket. My necky was soaking wet after pouring it with the watering can. Um, but people did say that in the reviews that I read online. So it did kind of expect it. The important thing was everything inside the main compartment was bone dry. Uh, books were dry, clothing, everything. So I, I can be assured that putting everything in there for the weekend camping trip or overnight stays is going to remain dry. It's just worth not putting anything valuable like paper, passports, you know, money, that kind of thing in that front pocket. Uh, so use that wisely. 
So what do you think about this tail bag from Oxford? Uh, if you do have any uh, reviews or feedback, then drop a comment below. Let other people know, let me know. In the meantime, I will be putting this bag through its paces out in the wild for a camping trip uh, very, very shortly. So do check back on the channel for future update videos, including the Oxford Aqua T30. If you found this video useful, please drop a comment below, uh, let me know and uh, like and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. In the meantime, ride safe and stay safe. I'll see you next time.